Okay, now I'm going to start the new P2 paper for International A-Level, Pure Maths P2. Um, I'm going to be answering the sample assessment paper. Okay, the sample assessment paper, as actually there are no um, past papers yet. Okay, because it's the first ever paper, first ever session for this is going to be in June 2019, which is like... 18th of June, so it's uh, you know, about a month away or so. Okay, so um, less than a month away. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through this sample assessment paper, the specimen paper, and my own um, papers, which you can find the links for from the playlists. Okay, the links for the playlists you'll find at the bottom of the video, and then from there you can then find all the other papers as well. So basically here, what we have for question number one, we're given a function f of x equals x to the power 4 plus x cubed plus 2x squared plus ax plus b, where a and b are constants. Okay, x is a variable and a and b are constants. When f of x is divided by x minus 1, the remainder is 7. Show that a plus b equals 3. Okay, now we're going to use what's called the remainder theorem. Okay, the remainder theorem helps us to save some time. And the remainder theorem is such that um, what you have to do is as follows. We want to substitute, if we know that the remainder is 7 when you substitute, when you, when you divide um, the function by x minus 1. Okay, that means when you substitute the value of x that comes out when you put this bracket equal to 0. What's the value of x that comes out if x minus 1 equals 0? Well, x is equal to 1. Okay, so when you put that value of x into this function, what should come out is 7. So basically, that means that f1 has to equal 7. Because they told us that when you divide by x minus 1, the remainder is 7. Okay, if x minus 1 was a factor, the remainder would be 0. That's called the factor theorem. So now, if I substitute 1 instead of x, I'm going to have 1 to the power of 4, plus 1 to the power of 3, plus 2 times 1 to the power of 2, plus a times 1 plus b equals 7. So I can now just simplify this. This is 1 plus 1 plus 2. Okay, that's going to be 4 plus a plus b equals 7. Subtract 4 from both sides. So a plus b is equal to 3. So that's exactly what we had to show. Show that a plus b is equal to 3. So that's part a done. Okay. Now, part b says when fx is divided by x plus 2, the remainder is minus 8. So similarly... Um, if for part B, that means let's see what value of x you've got to put in here. When x plus 2 is equal to 0, x is equal to negative 2. That means that f minus 2 will give you negative 8. So let's do the same procedure. Okay, um, I'm going to have minus 2 to the power of 4 plus minus 2 to the power of 3 plus 2 times minus 2 cubed plus a times minus 2 plus b and this time it's going to equal minus 8. Okay, so let's just go with this. So minus 2 to the power of 4 is positive 16 and minus 2 to the power of 3 is negative 8. When you raise to a positive power, a negative number, when you raise to an uh, even power, the negative becomes a positive. When you raise to an odd power, then it stays negative. Um, and you're going to have 2 times, what's the squared? Don't make silly mistakes like that. It's supposed to be squared here. So that's 2 times 4, which is 8. That's going to become positive 4. Uh, minus 2a plus b equals minus 8. So we can see here that these will cancel. You're left with 16. So you're left with minus 2a plus b is equal to minus 8 minus 16 which is minus 24 make that a bit neater okay so minus 2a plus b equals minus 24 so how can we find the values of a and b well we have here two equations one and two so you've got a choice you can either use substitution or you could use elimination it's pretty easy to use both so you have a plus b is equal to three i think most students seem to be more comfortable with um, elimination so I'll just go that way so basically I've got equation 1 and 2 
I can subtract the two equations. I can do equation 1 minus equation 2. Then the b's will disappear because they have the same coefficient. So you have a minus minus 2, which a minus minus 2a, which is positive 3a. Okay. And equals 3 minus minus 24, which is 27. So a is going to be 27 divided by 3, which is 9. And therefore, b is going to be 3 minus 9. So b is negative 6. So the a is equal to 9 and b is equal to negative 6. What else do they tell us to do? Find the value of a and the value of b. Okay, good. Sometimes they might say, write down f of x. Okay, uh, find a and b and write down what the function is. So then you'd have to write down your a and your b in the actual equation. Here they just said find the value of a and b. So you just have to write the values of a and b. It's 9 and minus 6. And there we have question number two, 1a and b solved.